Today's review is set in the 90s, which means we're dating Amber on Film Threat Reviews. Hi, I'm Alan Ning. I'm with Zarna Kid, and today we review Dating Amber. Be sure to like, subscribe to the Film Threat YouTube channel uh, with your thoughts about this film. Two school friends decide to start a pretend straight relationship in efforts to fit in. Directed by David Frayne, stars Finn O'Shea and Lola Pettigrew. Um, this is a coming out movie. So I'm curious, what did you think of Dating Amber? Oh, gosh, I thought it was so charming and lovely and just the sweetest romantic comedy that I've seen in a uh, a long, long time. <clears throat> I felt, uh, I don't know what it's like to uh, have to come out. Uh, uh, I So I can't speak from any sort of personal experience, but from watching this movie, it felt like um, it captured not just teen angst of like the peer pressure and dating and all that stuff, but gay teen angst of the pressure of having to feel like you need to keep a secret or you can't fully express yourself and you have to, you know, can't let people know because there might be shame involved. You know, to me, I, it really, it really got me. And I, I did get quite emotional in certain areas. It, it felt okay, so, yeah, yeah. So before we get into details, let me, let me just say that, um, you know, to me, the thing about uh, gay cinema, LGBT cinema is, of what I've seen, I would say 90% of the the pie is coming out stories. Um, it's, you know, it, I, I say that as only to point out that Danny Amber is a small fish in a very large pond. There's so many stories of coming out. And, and I understand that it's a, uh, it's a big moment in a, in a person's life. Um, but this does dominate a lot of gay cinema. What I will say though, is that this one stands out to me from from the pack. Uh, I really enjoyed this story. Um, I've seen this story be told over and over again, but this one to me really stands out. And you bring a lot of uh, you brought up a lot of the reasons why. Uh, I thought it was heartfelt. I I was very very much touched by the story. The fact that it was set in Ireland. At first, I thought, well, are, are there going to be cultural? barriers or things that I might not get culturally that might also prevent me from fully uh, being immersed in the film. But n none of that, none of that happened. I mean, it was, yes, it was, they lived in a very small town in Ireland, but it could have been a small town in America. And when, you know, they go to the city, they try to hit the, they, you know, they hit the clubs where they meet um, and awaken their sexuality. And it, you know, it could be any kid, you know, driving from, you know, Northridge to some club in downtown Los Angeles. So the fact that this is an Irish movie doesn't limit its uh, uh, wideness in scope in terms of uh, being relatable. The performances here are that the our two leads, they have so much chemistry between them. They're, you know, they they get together under these circumstances where they're both being bullied separately. They're not even friends but they make this agreement that they are going to pretend to be boyfriend and girl till the end of the school year so that everyone will leave them alone. By developing this genuine friendship, they really do care for one another. So when they do hold hands and when they do uh, express affection with each other for show, they actually do have a deep fondness for one another and then they become weirdly a role model for everyone else in the school who then aspires to have, you know, hashtag relationship goals, uh, just like this couple. Yeah, to me, their friendship is the is the story, is this, is this movie, it's the heartwarming piece of it. Um, you know, I also appreciate uh, Eddie, or Finn O'Shea's character, because um, he's the one who, from the very beginning, is struggling I don't know that he's struggling with his sexuality, but he's struggling to come to reality, come to grips with it. And, um, you know, and, and to have Amber come along and, you know, basically call him out and say, this is who you are and, and just become an ally in that, you know, and then, and then it just, it, it goes into that fairly formulaic, um, you know, coming out 
structure where at one point you know they're they're turning on each other for pretty obvious reasons but it's yeah it, it's this idea of you know still there's this confusion and in a in a time in um in the world you know where coming out was still you know there's still a lot of ramifications for for doing it and, and in this case it was family it was friends it was the the sh social structure of that time and even the stigma that society has placed on yeah. being gay at that time and and even though that's that aspect of the stigma and the unfairness of that inequality it's heartbreaking to watch for mm -hmm. me the real heartbreak was <clears throat> when they did become really close and then their authentic sexuality started to really wake up when they would leave secretly to go to the city and and uh, see what the world was out there, uh, uh, what it was like out there. <clears throat> and then they would turn on each other, like they resented each other for somehow knowing the truth about them, or they resented the other person for having to dare to expose them to this world because it had to, they had to deal with it. And so then they would be so mean and cruel to one another, crueler than, some of the bullies who were legitimately cruel to them. And that just, it just broke my heart that that the, the need to keep something so secret that it caused you to turn on the very people who know your secret and will hold on to your secret. Just real, it just crushed me. That's, uh, that's cin cinematic drama. I mean, it has to be there and it's so effective in this movie. Um, yeah. one, one part that I really, that really, struck me was um, when Eddie and, and Amber go to the nightclub and uh, Eddie sees a, a, a drag queen uh, oh. lip syncing a song. It is, it is, uh, oh. that is the most touching moment in this entire movie. And it's just so sweet. And uh, you know, that to me, that's the scene to watch. <laughs> there, there is much to love about this film. Um, and not just the fact that it, the film and the subject matter, but I think just, you got to look at the filmmaker behind it, our two leads, and just kind of go, you know what? Keep an eye on these people. They are going places. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, the, I, I will second that only in the sense that this this movie felt so authentic. Again, I, I don't claim to understand um, what what it's like to be to to have to come out or or the struggles that the LGBT community had to face, especially in the 80s and 90s. But uh, it just felt real and, it, you know, it just shows that we're all human beings and we all feel feelings. I do think that if you, you know, if you can't relate with the, the LGBT aspect of it, I think you can relate to what it was like being a teenager and having uh, peer pressure there or your parents expecting you to or, live up to some idea. And struggling with, your, struggling with your identity. That's that's what adolescence is all about. Yes, exactly. It's universally relatable from that sense. It just has this whole extra layer added to it on top of that, but worth your while. Definitely 100% to recommend. Yeah, well, clearly, well, you recommended it. Clearly you liked it, liked it a lot, and you uh, the story really resonated with you. So I'm gonna guess you gave it uh, an eight, maybe even an eight and a half. I gave it an eight. Mm -hmm. I just, that just felt like a, a good, that just felt like a good number. It's a good, solid film, definitely. Uh, a recommend, especially um, when we're sitting at home and watching a lot of content. I thought that this was just something yeah. that you know you could sit down and and watch and and really, no matter what age you are, you know whether you're you're a teenager now or you were once a teenager, there is something to be gleaned for the uh, from this movie. Um, as for yourself, I think you also liked it as much as I did, but I think maybe you did give it an eight and a half. No, I gave it an eight. <laughs> Again, we're quibbling yeah. over half points. I don't, I don't know what that half point would mean. I, I don't but, know. Yeah, uh, but you know, I agree with you. I <laughs> love this movie. Um, I thought uh, Lola was was fantastic as Amber. Um, yeah. I we, these characters are just amazing, and you know, as stereotypical as this movie was, I just felt the the entire story and the characters themselves were fresh and yeah. and worth watching. So yeah, uh, yeah, definite recommendation. Yes. So with that, um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, go see Dating Amber and let us know what you thought. And, and with that, oh, before go you go, because 
we we did hear my bird in the background and she did have something to say i uh i do i do think that we i, I just want to show our um friends at home over here that um that the, uh, this is yaya and and she is also recommending the movie so um thought i'd bring her into the picture so she could uh have okay. a too there All we right. go <laughs> very good all right well thanks yaya and with that let's get out of here